I would like I would like to send the chairs and um, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Yipun Zhang from uh, Waseda University, Japan, uh, the Graduate School of Information Production and System. And today I would like to give a talk on the uh, spherical single element lens using birefringent material for miniaturized imaging system. All right. Oh. I'm sorry. So uh, this this is the uh, outline of my presentation. First, I will give a brief introduction, and then I uh, I will explain my uh, the birefringent single lens, uh, <coughs> the system specifications, and the optical axis orientation of the birefringent material and also we will investigate the optical aberrations and the third one we're going to show you some image uh, image simulation results uh, at the single wavelength uh, 587.6 nanometers and we finally give a uh, future works <coughs> okay uh, so uh, first of first of all I would like to Talk about what is uh, the uh, ali uh, aliasing aliasing artifact. So, uh, aliasing uh, aliasing artifact is a kind of artifact that is occurred on the image sensor if the spatial frequency of the object is <coughs> okay is larger than the uh, Nyquist frequency of the image sensor. So here we have then. Uh, object with different spatial frequencies. The, the spatial frequency is defined <coughs> by this equation, which is the inverse value of the distance d. The distance d represents uh, <coughs> the distance of one cycle um, that, um, set, for example, this position. So we have we also have a image sensor that has many pixels. So the pixel the uh, pixel pitch distance is denoted by L and so the Nyquist frequency is defined by the inverse value of the uh, two times the pixel pitch. So um, the uh, aliasing artifact will occur when the spatial frequency is larger than the Nyquist, fre Nyquist frequency. So if we, if we take a picture of this and the uh, aliasing artifact will look like this. Okay. So, uh, what is the conventional way to reduce this such uh, aliasing artifact? Uh, so here shows a picture, uh, uh, an imaging system with lenses and the optical low pass filter. So here is the lenses, and here is the optical low pass filter. So an uh, incident light will. <coughs> Uh, pass through this optical low pass filter, and <coughs> the light inc incident light will be will split split into two rays, which is ordinary ray or all ray, and the other one is the extraordinary ray uh, or E ray. So the all ray is <coughs> the polarization of this all ray is uh, perpendicular to the plane that consists of the incident light and the uh, optical axis of the uh, birefringent material, and the other ray, E ray, will uh, uh, the the E ray's polarization is right inside this uh, uh, the plane that I mentioned before. So, uh, an incident light will split into two rays uh, with an angle gamma and with an um, <coughs> Ray separation distance, uh, which is uh, shown D here. So, uh, <coughs> if a condition is satisfied, uh, that that is D is larger than two times the the pixel pitch, then uh, the aliasing uh, artifact can be reduced effectively. So, but uh, what is the merit of the conventional OLPF? So, uh, 
almost uh, normally two or three or more OLPFs are needed in order to reduce the uh, artifact horizontal direction and vertical direction, um, which makes the entire system very thick and bulky and also increase the manufacturing cost. So here we propose uh, a lens, a very simple lens, uh, which is uh, a spherical surfaces and made of crystalline quartz, uh, uh, one of the uh, birefringent material. And this lens can converge like, like, uh, like a con conventional con uh, convex lens and also has the ability to uh, reduce uh, aliasing artifact. So uh, here is the schematic view of this lens. And you can see that uh, <coughs> the, in the center of the lens to the immersion sensor is approximately eight, uh, 5.3 millimeters. And we've shown here many uh, field views. Uh, here's zero, which is seven, uh, 14, 21, uh, 28, ah, 27. So the maximum uh, semi field of view is 27 degrees. And we also have this uh, diameter of this lens, 1.7 millimeters, and entrance pupil uh, diameter is 1.8. Okay. So uh, this one shows the uh, optical axis orientation of these four lens. So uh, <clears throat> the uh, uh, optical axis of this pores uh, is located in a plane, this plane, that is uh, 45 degrees with respect to YZ plane and 45 degrees with respect to XZ plane. And also 45 degrees with respect to the Z, Z axis. So we calculate this angle alpha, beta, and gamma uh, by directing cosine. And the angle uh, is shown here. So <coughs> when uh, unpolarized incident ray uh, pass through this lens, uh, there, they will be split into O-ray and E-ray. And we hope that uh, the distance between O-ray and E-ray will be like this, 2 and the square root 2 times uh, the pixel pitch. So, <coughs> Oh, so he, here is a uh, image sensor, three megapixel uh, image sensor that we will be using in our simulation. <clears throat> so uh, the pixel wise and pitch is also uh, the same, 1.4 micrometers. Okay, so uh, this oh, I'm sorry. This one shows uh, the optical aberrations of our uh, uh, imaging system. So this one is uh, object a two-dimensional object, and this one is the resulting image. And for a, a spherical single element lens, we think that this, uh, this image quality is acceptable. So uh, we also do, uh, uh, we also observed the point spread function of our system. So as you can see in these four pictures, this one shows the PSF, point spread function, uh, at semi field of view zero, and this one's seven, this one 14, and 21. So <coughs> when uh, you can see uh, the re-separation on uh, the re-separation at zero degrees and seven degrees is approximately 4.0 micrometers, which is mm, exactly the distance uh, <coughs> uh, the two and uh, two, uh, two and the square uh, square root two times the uh, the pixel pitch. So that means the at this degrees, the uh, aliasing artifact can be, can be uh, reduced. But um, when the, as the field of view increased, for example, 14 and 21, the <coughs> optical aberration overwhelmed. So we cannot clearly see clearly seeing the ray separation on these degrees. So here's finally, uh, we <coughs> go, uh, go to the image simulation result. So here is the uh, original thing that to be captured by our imaging system. And we, this one, uh, okay. This, this one shows the resulting image without the birefringence uh, near the semi field of view, zero degrees. We adjust the contrast of the image because we want to show the uh, aliasing, art, aliasing artifact clearly. So, but uh, is it, it's not very clearly, but uh, it's the aliasing artifact 
is uh, reduced by comparing this one to this one. It's not that unclear. But, uh, <coughs> okay, I'll go to the next. Uh, so, this picture shows uh, mm, the mm, captured image result by reference near uh, semi field of view 7 degrees. And this one is the width with the uh, by refrigerants at the same degrees. And, but uh, when the semi field of view increases to 14 and 21, we cannot uh, <coughs> see the difference. Uh, we can not distinguish between the blur caused by the optical aberration or the uh, caused by the by refrigerants. So, <coughs> So here we show the uh, future works of our research. So we have to reduce the optical aberration so, so as to distinguish the blur uh, caused by optical aberrations from uh, that caused by, by refrigerants. And also take into consideration the color sensor array and <coughs> investigate the effectiveness, effectiveness of the proposed system for different wavelengths. Thank you very much. Ah, um, actually, we are using a software, uh, a software that can uh, modeling modeling uh, uh, can design a lens and that can uh, design the uh, surface parameter and also um, carry out some carry out some simulations. Um, and to the details of how to design the surface, so we are now. Uh, Figuring it out, <laughs> we're now trying to do that. Can you mean can? Uh, yeah, mm, that's our final um, destination. But actually, now we are just uh, modeling, doing some simulation, but not uh, proceed to the next stage. Thank you.